Welcome back to Talk of the Town. We've ventured out to the Ludding Area Center for the Arts. It's Chris. And Brandy. And welcome back again. It's noon on Thursday, and we have a chance to see the sights and sounds of the Ludington area. And we're really going to see some sights today as we have made, a, made our way to Laka. Uh, we've been here before, but there's always things that are changing. There's mm -hmm. exhibits that are coming in, and something major has changed here, and yeah. that's the store here. I know. I'm very excited about this new new uh, addition or revamp of the uh, of the store here. Yeah, and Patty is yes. joining us. Hi, Patty. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, welcome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's talk about uh, maybe just for the viewers taking us back to what it used to be or what was here and why the change. Do you mind exploring that with us? Sure, yeah. So the gift shop was um, more of a, really like a gift shop and it had a lot of inventory. And so <laughs> now we kind of have like a spa-like atmosphere. Yeah. Okay. And um, it's calm so that you can stop and take in a piece and okay. has more of that spa feeling yeah. to yeah. it. And you noticed when you walked in, I same thing. Uh -huh. It was like, oh, it smells it good like in it, there. It smelled great. <laughs> I immediately, it was kind of like when we went to the yoga studio, like yeah. it's a nice calm breath. Well, I'm so glad I you get the vibe. Yeah. That's what we yes. were going for. I yeah. definitely picked it up as soon as I walked in, not even okay. knowing that's what you were going great. for. Mm -hmm. Job done. Yeah, yes. absolutely. <laughs> well, let's let's explore inside, and you can show off what, what you've done and take us through some of the uh, some of the updates if okay. you don't mind. You want to yeah. do that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. let's do it. Yeah, yeah. and. Um, and it, it, before, it was the same size, or did you it knock down some walls? It was the same size, yep. Okay. So all new color changes. So it make, people come in and say, are these arches new? No, yeah. the arches were yeah. always there. Good. Um, so it just really um, made the ceiling soar, and I yeah. took all the window treatments off of the windows, and now, look, they're just beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. They just soar. Yeah. And, and we'll, we'll, we'll pan around the room and yeah. show, show uh, for our viewers what we're seeing. And there's a lot of artwork, as there should be. And uh, the colors are just, it, it, it's, it's calming, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Thank you, yeah. So we wanted to go like with an earthy vibe for the walls so that the artist's work just, you know, pops, pops. off the walls. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yeah, I think that that color lends itself well to just a real natural backdrop. We mm -hmm. wanted it to be a backdrop not to compete with the artwork. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, you're right. It just, po everything pops off the wall when I look that way. It's beautiful, yeah. yeah. And what we're seeing in here is truly local artists. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and to have that combination, that's probably very important to you. Yes, yeah, so this is all members' artwork, and um, I had so many beautiful things to work with, so it made my job very easy. <laughs> so, so, yep, all local art and really the talent we have in this community is oh, yes. amazing. Yeah. Yes. It's like off the charts, so it yeah. made my job very easy. Very cool. <laughs> and it has a new name. It does. Yeah, tell it us about that. Art Shop 107 yep. by LACA, okay. and I wanted the word shop in it because I want this to be a destination. Mm -hmm. Come mm -hmm. pick up your gifts, pick up a card, you know, for a friend or something like that. Yeah. So 107 is our address. Very cool. Perfect. Yeah. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Art Shop 107. Yeah, that's like a it. really great name. Yeah. Uh, take us through, you know, the benefit. When people do shop here uh, obviously the benefit is great art for their home mm -hmm. or business or wherever they're going to to, to, to hang that um, but it is also an option or an opportunity for the um, for LACA to, to generate that revenue that keeps the doors open. Absolutely. So our artists get 70% and LACA 30% goes to LACA. So it's pretty uh, generous. That's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. And I'm looking around here. We comment on this a lot when we talk about the events happening here at mm -hmm. the Center for the Arts is just the range of arts that are and programming that happens here. And as I'm looking around, mm -hmm. it's not just photography or painted art there are there's jewelry and mixed media stuff and yeah. tell us a little bit more about that kind of like curation of different art forms yeah so we now have wearables and we didn't have wearables before um, Sandra Hoffman who's in the corner she's a weaver um, and her work is just amazing oh, yeah many 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 hours go into just like one shawl um, and this artist, Jessica Willis, she okay. puts her paintings on textiles. So that's literally one of her paintings. Oh, on that's a beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, just um, and so you're gonna get a lot of one of a kind here. Mm -hmm. But then again, you'll also find some affordable pieces. So let's say you see that print in the back that's or that painting in the back that's five thousand dollars. Well, you can get a print of that for a oh, hundred dollars. Cool. Yeah. 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 Yep. I see cards and mm -hmm. yeah, I get yep. just lots of different things. So. Always, and I, I'm sure things change out quite a bit. So yes, 
things are going to be changing on a regular basis almost daily. Wow. So, oh, wow. Yeah, so that is we keep an inventory of the art. And okay. so I'm just going to keep it rotating so it's always fresh. Wow. I love that. Yeah. More recent what excites you about yeah. this, though? Well, I just love that it's local. I mean, okay. that's just huge. You yeah. know, just and I'm astounded at the talent mm -hmm. in this area, you mm -hmm. know, in Ludington, Michigan. So, yes. and the artists are, they are friendly, they stop in, you know, I introduce them to each other. So it's a, just a great collaboration. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's awesome. I'm sure they love seeing their stuff. I'm sure they Yes, do. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, anything that we can look forward to in the future? I mean, this is a big step for Laco. Yeah. Anything that uh, that you're looking for, forward to? Well, it is going to be fresh. So I'm gonna keep on my artists to keep bringing Absolutely. me new work mm -hmm. okay. and then I'm gonna have have a huge inventory and so it's just going to keep changing yeah so. i love that cool. yeah, yeah i love that idea yeah. uh and uh and and it is a it's a it's it's really nice i mean you're right right off the street yep. when somebody comes in they make that left right into the gift exactly. shop mm -hmm. or as you call it art shop 107 on That's the right. window there that i <laughs> yeah. see there yeah. so very cool right. yeah. patty thanks for joining oh, us thanks for coming yeah thank yeah. you for joining us today. Yeah, absolutely. yeah absolutely Good. and your counterpart andrew he's coming in as well we're going to switch spots for just a moment uh, Andrew, you want to stay in the gift shop or you want to walk around? What do you want to do? Um, uh, if we talk sure, about? you guys want to um, go back into the gallery? Yeah, yeah let's do hey, that. Let's... Can you open that door for us? Okay, let's, let's follow you. Let's swing that way. We're still in the way. process of getting all the lights changed for the new exhibit, but the artwork is up and ready to go. Okay. And that art and uh, the exhibit that we're going to be looking at right now, what are we talking about this on this one? This is our first mm -hmm. ever uh, juried national, a uh, little bit of international art exhibit here at the Art Center. Okay. Um, this is celebrating the Sacred Feminine okay. uh, exhibit. Um, it opens this Friday. Very cool. Yeah, awesome. All right. And and this isn't just local artists. This is, uh, this is around the world, right? This is uh, loosely international. <laughs> um, okay. So we have... Uh, Oh my goodness, I'm spacing on my numbers of art. We have. I think uh, there's 23, 23 states. states. Yes, we have uh, 60 pieces in this exhibit with um, close to uh, 50 different artists represented. Okay. And they're from all over the country. Um, we had 99 artists submit 174 uh, pieces of work for this wow. uh, exhibit. Yep. And then um, we selected, we had a jury process, selected it down to about 60 pieces. And then all the artists ship their artwork here um, for this exhibit, and it'll be on display for the whole month. We do I have uh, 23 uh, states that are represented and an artist from Canada. Oh, very cool. And lots of different uh, nationalities of the artists as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, a number of artists from Michigan. And I think there's probably five to six local uh, Mason County area artists as well. Right? Very cool. Yeah. yeah. And and the decision process of selecting each artist, there was a little bit of, uh, you know, kind of neatness about that too, right? Take yeah. us to that. So we had a, a jury of three people okay. um, look over the images on their own time um, and score the images based on the uh, the content and the the quality of their pieces. Okay. Um, okay. So then they were all scored and then we compiled all the scores and looked at how the scores worked out for us and okay. went from there and invited the artists to bring ship their artwork here. Did you get some feedback from when you told those artists, hey, you're gonna be on display here? Any so I was a little nervous because this is our first uh, national, international exhibit on mm -hmm. whether or not the artists would actually follow through and ship their artwork here. Okay. Um, cause it's, with some of these pieces, it cost a few hundred dollars to ship. Mm. Yeah. Um, so I was curious if that would happen. And to my surprise, all of them were super eager to get their artwork here. Wow. Um, get, so yeah, everybody is yeah. super excited to be part of this exhibit. That's great. Yeah. yeah. And again, as I look around, a lot of different, uh, medias used yes. and techniques and tell us a little bit about that. Um, so we have your traditional techniques and media that you would normally see in our exhibits with paint, mm -hmm. acrylic paintings and oil paintings and some photography, but we have. Uh, some mezzo prints, which are new here, um, some different uh, sculptural pieces, um, some fiber wearable art, um, some print, like uh, printmaking, wood yeah. block cuts, all, all kinds of really cool new techniques new to us. So this is 
a real joy to have artwork like this here in Ludington and the Art Center. All right. That's awesome. Yeah. And you have a uh, the reception coming up for yeah. it, and that's tomorrow, right? Tomorrow is Friday, yes. We yeah. have our uh, a monthly reception. It'll be from 5 to 8 um, in here. And then we also have another exhibit up in our performance hall lobby gallery called Pillars of the Community. Okay. Um, yeah. Ann Arbor-based artist uh, Melanie Manos has some work up there. Mm -hmm. And then in our performance hall, we have a walkable labyrinth yeah. um, that we've installed on the floor in the performance hall for people to kind of come in and kind of find their center and yeah. kind of it's a labyrinth is kind of a meditative walk where you slowly walk and you think okay. about your process and all that stuff so people can take advantage of that mm -hmm. um, during the reception on Friday and then also on the 20th of March we'll be having a equinox drum circle taking oh. place in the uh, okay. performance hall fun. along with the labyrinth walk as well very cool yeah. very cool hmm. Yeah. Should do something like that? Yeah, I think this labyrinth walk sounds really yeah. nice. It's really cool. We, <laughs> use, we have the dark floor up there, and we yeah. used uh, yellow tape to tape it all okay. off. Okay. It's kind of octagon shape. Yeah. It looks really cool. Yeah. Is awesome. it all set up right now? It's all set up. Do you oh, want to? Oh, yeah. Do you want time? Sure. The rotary tables are over the top of a lot of it, but okay. you can still get the feel. Okay. Let's do it. Let's right. follow you up. Yeah. Okay. After you. <laughs> Beautiful up here too. Oh yeah, this looks fantastic. Oh, look at that! They really utilized oh, yes. a lot of the floor in here. Yeah. So uh, you'll enter uh, here, okay. and then obviously the table is your way right now. But you'll make your way through the whole labyrinth, and you'll end up uh, down this way when you exit. And do you have music playing, or do you have, uh, you know, is it just a calm? It'll be silent, and you're supposed to walk through in kind of a meditative process of, you yeah. know, calm, think about your day, think about your life, you know, type thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's very cool. cool. Yeah. Why did you want to do something like this? What's the background on it? Um, so Barb Ford, who was one of the our volunteers and area artists, she was the person that proposed uh, the Celebrating Sacred Women exhibit. And um, she thought that this would be a cool thing to kind of bring in the, the calmness of mm -hmm. the exhibit and all yeah. that stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the, we're going to have a closing reception on March 31st from 5 to 8. Okay. And we'll have the International Dancers of Peace here as well doing cool. um, a dance. Um, I, I, I like to call it a performance, but it's more of a... Everybody's invited to take part. They'll show you how to oh, cool. get everybody, and everybody will dance together. Very cool. I love Close that. Yeah. Very exciting. Well, thanks Fun. for exploring this w with us. We yeah. uh, there's a lot happening here at Lockout. There always, is. There's yeah. Always something fun happening. Yeah. That's very cool. Well, thank Great. you guys for having me. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Thanks for joining us yeah, again. For no yeah. Uh, we are here at Ludington Area Center for the Arts, and uh, there's always something to discover here. And the team is always, I mean, it's every week you could come back to LACA and explore something new here. And I think yeah. that's the exciting part about it. Yeah, I think every week we've touched on some event or s some program that they've got going on. So mm -hmm. it's a great place to check out. And yeah. now we know to shop here, too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and we want to encourage you to, to shop local. And this is another mm -hmm. opportunity to do that yep. uh, throughout the Ludington area, too. Let's talk about some other events and happenings uh, taking place. Uh, Footloose, the musical at West yeah. Shore Community College. Excited about that. Yes. Does it bring back any memories for you? Or like I mean, I know it'll be similar to the movie, which mm -hmm. is, you know, kind of one of those yeah. classics. So I'm excited. And they always do an amazing job with their performance series out there. Yeah. And so I'm excited for this. I'm definitely going. So. Yes, me yeah. too. I yeah. will be there. And, uh, and I was just talking the other day, last week, uh, with uh, the one of the... Um, um, uh, the artwork, uh, the, the designers, painters, mm -hmm. and she's been doing that, I think, for about 25 years. Wow. And, uh, and she's like, I'm just really
really super and 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 talking with her and, and the different paint painting that she did and mm -hmm. the different layers and stuff it was yeah. really neat to see that so when you do get a chance to check out Footloose uh, this weekend starts tonight by the way right yes, yeah yep. uh, at West Shore Community College uh, make sure that you uh, check out the displays and, yeah. and uh, well, this is gonna be pretty neat uh, for more information go to westshore.edu edu uh, click on the performing arts tab and you can find out all about tickets and information show times and uh, and it's a really great uh, opportunity to support the college and as mm -hmm. well the students uh, that are performing too yeah we're really lucky to have the college bringing that level yes. of performing arts to our community so mm -hmm. please check that out i think it's this weekend and next weekend there are yep. show times you so. got it yeah and uh, you have uh, something that you actually experienced yourself yes. uh, the celebrity bartender yeah. first of all before we talk about this one yeah. how did that one go it was so much fun like i didn't obviously we talked about how i was very uh novice in terms of my bartending <laughs> yeah. skills but they made it super easy the mm -hmm. community really came out to support our charity which was like short food for kids yeah. i think we raised almost uh, eight thousand four hundred dollars for them in three hours which yeah. is amazing so um, what a cool gift that Ludington Bay Brewing Company is doing for so many charities in our community and it continues yeah. tonight from five to eight o'clock um, at Ludington Bay Brewing Company and tonight uh, local legend Mark Boone mm -hmm. and Mark Lenz will be teaming up for the celebrity bartender event all pouring for the Ludington School Student Resource Fund, which That's is cool. really great. And those who know Mark Boone know that he does such a great job of connecting resources in our community with students in our local school system. Mm -hmm. So it's another great program that benefits our community and students in our community yeah. as well. So yeah, that's great. Yeah, tonight uh, five o'clock, uh, and most yeah. people were showing up pretty early, right? Uh, yeah, the party started at five. That's yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right, so let's make it happen tonight. Yeah. Uh, speaking of celebrity, uh, the mixologist Eric Meyer. Yeah. Uh, is serving up cocktails uh, at Sticks, 4 to 8 p.m. Uh, this Thursday as well. All yep. craft cocktails are 7 bucks and small plates for just $5 in the lounge bar. Yeah. And um, I believe he's from Chicago coming in. And I think, you know, when you hear, when you see some of those shows on TV about yeah. them, you know, flipping the, and I'm like, well, I could never do something <laughs> like that. But this is what you're going to be able to see yeah. at Sticks. I think that's pretty neat. I think it's great they're doing this. And I love that they're, the lounge bar is the, the mm -hmm. second floor, which yes. is great. So wonderful space for something like this. I'm actually heading out there tonight, so I'm That's looking forward cool. to it. All right. <laughs> yeah. That's very cool. Uh, let's uh, let's talk about uh, the annual auction fundraiser at uh, Covenant Christian. Uh, that's coming up this Saturday, and uh, and it's, it's pretty neat because they had a hiatus for this because yeah. of COVID. Yep. Uh, now it's back, and they I think they have like 200 plus items as part yeah. of this auction. Uh, and they were in the studio just the other day, and, and you know, there is expenses uh, to, you know, go into school these mm -hmm. days. And so they want your help uh, to be there, and it's in person at Covenant Christian. And the nice thing is, is it's spread out throughout the school, so oh, you can cool. kind of, you know, mingle around there. Uh, and that is happening um, uh, this, uh, this Saturday. And I believe it is at 6 p.m. Okay. But uh, but yep. definitely uh, check check the uh, Ludington uh, uh, the downtown Ludington website and yep. Covenant Christian too. Yeah, yeah, yep. so absolutely. Cool. Mm -hmm. And speaking of fundraisers, um, through March 4th, the community has the opportunity to still support and bid on items for the Mason County Educational Foundation fundraiser. Again, being held online this year, mm -hmm. um, but they have hundreds of donated items from our local businesses, everything from home goods, experiences, travel stuff. So it really runs the gamut um, and a lot of outdoor recreation stuff, which I know is really popular for them. So um, you have a chance to still bid on those items through March 4th, eight o'clock ends bidding. Um, and you can go to MCCEF. Uh, dot betterworld.org is right. where you find those items. And, and and when you think about this, it is so much better for us to be able to interact and engage and be able to support the local schools here. Mm -hmm. And and we always talk about millages and such, but these are the other opportunities for us to to, to, to contribute yeah. uh, without it, it necessarily coming from our tax dollars mm -hmm. yeah. and, and, and being able to help the schools and the students. Absolutely. And to, these are like, you know, when we talk about millages and things like that, that's just meeting like basic needs 
need. So where mm -hmm. like education foundations come in, it's to support those kind of unique educational needs, innovative learning opportunities. So it's a, a great way to give more opportunity to our students. Yeah, yeah. very cool. So let's yeah. su let's support them. Uh, and then Sandcastles Children's Museum has the new Hola exhibit. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and that's uh, featuring ten uh, conversational buttons throughout the museum to help visitors uh, learn Spanish phrases. I love that. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I love that, love that idea. Yes. And uh, these phases uh, will change by monthly. The buttons are brightly colored and identified uh, with the, the free Ola Oak uh, logos. And as well, uh, first Saturday Spanish storytelling uh, will also ha be held on the first Saturday uh, of every month at 11 a.m. Yeah. So if you're like, hey, and, and I don't know Spanish, but I would love to learn Spanish. And even if it's yeah. just a couple of terms here and there, I think it'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I love that integration of like bilingual learning mm -hmm. too for young kids. And so I think yeah. that's a wonderful addition. Yes, yeah. very much. Yeah. Uh, you know, these are just a couple of the events, uh, just scratching the surface on everything that is happening yep. uh, here in the Ludington area and if you're from in town or for, if you're from out of town uh, come explore Ludington we encourage you to do that and it starts at going to downtownluddington.org you can yep. find the events and happenings there check out our Facebook pages our social media uh, yep. make sure you're following there because there is a lot of things to do always yeah yeah, yeah. And yep. a year round and so it's not just hey spring and summer is, is around the corner no explore in in February and March here now so yeah. we and it's not you. just weekends either there's mm -hmm. stuff happening all like every Every night of the week. That's yeah, right. Which yeah. is great. Uh, so we challenge you to get out and have some fun. Yeah. And uh, and we uh, we appreciate you taking some time today to watch Talk of the Town. Uh, for Brandy, I'm Chris, and we'll yeah. see everybody what next Thursday. Next Thursday. You see you it. then.